All right. Uh, my name is Brian Besco with Twisted Sage Studios out of South Dakota. We're here at the Mass Meditation Initiative for Disclosure Fest. And this is the Divine I Am Activation. So for the past several years, we've been working at bringing in our light into the heart more than what we've ever carried as a human before. And with that light comes the good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful, because we see our light as little particles of us as we exist throughout this entire universe, born in duality. And so as we bring in those particles of light, we're bringing in all the stuff with it, all the traumas, everything. So as energy healers, we've been noting in the past couple of years that it has been soul aspects or other soul incarnations that affect us so much right here in the physical. So we've discovered new tools and new ways of being able to bring in that light and leaving behind all of the unfinished business, all the oaths, vows, promises that no longer serve us and be able to bring in just our light and our information on a soul level. So today with this Divine I Am activation, we're going to first activate the Sacred Heart, which is that trifold gold flame heart that you always see Jesus and Mary depicted with, but beyond religion, this is connected with the human. So we're going to bring in the soul to activate the Sacred Heart. Then we're going to balance the brain hemispheres. We're going to connect to our higher mind, the quantum mind. Then we're going to be working with what we call the chalice energy. So the chalice energy is um, it's a crystal clear, pure consciousness light. If we see duality and that um, the yin yang, the balancing of duality, we've seen within this universe that that is the driving force of creation, the, the good and the bad. And it's, it's the driving force of all creation within this universe. Well, when we bring in this chalice energy, which the, the chalice as in what was carried by the Essenes and then it was carried by the Knights Templars, it is an energy that has remained hidden within this universe since the beginning. And so the chalice energy, if we see the, the dark and the light as two marbles, the white and the black, the chalice would be this crystal clear, pure consciousness light. And when it comes in and holds space for the dark and the light, the dark and the light let go. They just release the, their, their status of I'm dark, I'm light. And it is transcending the whole duality process. So it is just now time for this chalice energy to come up and to start releasing. What this means for us on a soul level though, is, is that on a soul level, this chalice energy, once we as the human become this chalice and we hold this crystal clear, pure consciousness light, it is then allowing the soul to go through and clear all the incarnations that our soul has been throughout this universe. So we are all infinitely old as our soul and we're much more than this earth. And throughout all that time, it has all been in duality. And so every lifetime, with this chalice energy, the soul is going to be able to go through and clear that lifetime. So instead of just clearing the traumas and everything, it's basically the soul is distilling the light and the information from that lifetime. And then that lifetime dissolves back into creation. So this chalice energy is also something that we're using to do healing work. So instead of trying to do, you know, energetic healing, we are allowing the soul to go in and uncreate that creation that is having that effect upon us. Um, and so that's something that we'll do here too, is just basically hold space for your soul to come in and do this work, do all the deep releasing work. The only thing that's really required of, of you in the process is the surrender, the surrender to the soul, which is, it's kind of the whole new paradigm right now of surrendering. And, um, the soul of the universe has been, you know, given everybody spiritual two by fours until they do surrender. And so um, this just makes things a lot quicker, simpler, easier. So without further ado, let's just get into the meditation aspect. Um, the first thing that we always do in consciousness work is we move our consciousness from the head back into the heart where it began. Within the physical heart, there's actually brain cells within the heart. That is where our consciousness used to reside before we were born. At some point in time where our consciousness moved from the heart 
up into the head. We see the consciousness as a little ball of light, a little marble that sits right behind the pineal gland, looks out our physical eyes, sees the world separate from us. So we're going to learn in three breaths how to go from the head back into the sacred space of the heart. Once we're in the sacred space of the heart, that's where we'll do the sacred heart activation with the soul and all the other work that comes. So here we go. The sacred space of the heart we call the Trinity breath. So close your eyes if you wish, or you can leave them open, however is comfortable. Imagine within the physical heart is your light, your soul's fire. Imagining connecting heart to heart with the earth and breathing in that light of the earth into the heart. Connecting heart to heart with source, soul, creator, God, however you see and say that. Breathe in that light into the heart. The third breath of the Trinity breath is breathing in both earth and sky, bring them both together with you. And then you drop into the heart space. So now we're going to imagine the soul standing before you. The soul can present in many different ways as a golden light being, an orb of energy, or just a feeling. So imagining the soul before you, it puts its hand on your heart and activates the sacred heart, the golden fire. Taking that deep breath in, releasing in that golden fire or that golden light that's around the heart, imagining go that going into every cell of the body, in between every cell. Then that golden fire comes up to the throat, to the pineal, and set your pineal on fire, that little gland right in the middle of the brain. Now then we're gonna imagine the infinity, the figure eight on its side, and it's just gonna connect the left and right brain, just infinity after infinity. Now just imagining that infinity going upwards to the higher mind, to the quantum mind. That's where we find the field of universal peace. That comes into the body, into every cell, in between every cell. Now we're going to go higher to that space beyond the mind, to that field of all knowing. Now we're going to go higher. We're going to invite in the soul to carry this chalice energy, that crystal clear, pure consciousness light. As that comes into the physical body, that energy of the chalice, that clear light, it just allows the soul to do the releasing of what no longer serves you. So simply have the statement to yourself, I release all that no longer serves. That's programs, beliefs, emotions, and this is through all lifetimes. This includes traumas, stuck emotional energies. Beautiful. Now, as that is releasing and clearing, we're going to imagine this divine I am activation. The divine I am is what we see as the divine blueprint, but the divine I am is the highest potential for you in this reality in this moment, which can mean clearing, healing, changing your entire reality by simply the allowing. So this is already happening, but you can visualize it perhaps as a sphere and orb around you, bluish, whitish color spins. And that is just doing the release work. And again, it's a surrendering to the soul and allowing the soul to do the work. All right. And it is that quick, easy and simple. So as you start to come back here, just realize that sometimes some of those things that we hold on to tight that we don't want to let go, even if it is unconsciously holding on to our crap, we can take the Trinity breath at future times as these things come up, we take the three breaths and as we go into the heart space, we ask our soul to come in. 
I tell you guys what, your soul is so flipping powerful. It is a master in many lifetimes or else we wouldn't all be here. So we are all masters. And so calling on your soul is huge because it can shift entire realities. So again, Trinity breath, breathing in from the earth, breathing in from creation, breathing them both together in the heart, brings you from your head into the heart. Then you can just ask your soul to come in and do whatever healing, clearing, or releasing you ever need. All right. So even though it's a little noisy around here and there might be distractions, no worries because your soul is the one that's in charge and your soul is the one that's doing this. And I felt shifts with every one of you guys and everybody who's watching. So um, we'll have this video up as well Disclosure Fest so you guys can go back and follow through the meditation at any time and share it with your friends because this is a beautiful healing simple modality. All right. Thank you guys for being here.